Limeland Motor Speedway. The nicest, cleanest, fastest quarter mile high bank clay oval in America. The fans are filing in and the crews are gearing up for what promises to be another awesome season of Limeland Thunder. Hello everyone, I'm Don Radeball. Welcome back to the Limeland Millstream Speedway Show. Great to have you along for the ride. Now this season's format gonna be a bit different. We'll be featuring racing excitement from not only here at Limeland, but Millstream Speedway as well in Finley, Ohio. Now the crews are gearing up for a great night of racing. We look forward to it. We'll be talking to some of the drivers and tapping in on all the A-Main feature event excitement from not only the Sprint Bandits, but AMRA Modifieds and Stock Cars as well. But for now, we need to take a short pause, but stay with us, because we'll be back with the A-Main feature event for the Sprint Bandits. You won't be disappointed. Stick around. Waiting and anticipating a start this time by, as we watch the leaders work carefully. Off of turn number four, it's Eric Slade and Jim Eckert off of four. Green flag is out. Back to one and two. Slade, Allison, and Ecker. Your top spot is Eric Slade, followed closely by Tim Allison in the OJ, the defending champion, already working on the 71 of Eric Slade. As we watch your leader scream, back to one and two. Allison looks outside of Slade, and now alongside Allison, back to three and four. Your new racetrack leader. That didn't take long. The OJ of Tim Allison is back in top form. That's a brand new Maxim Chevy built by Char well, the motor built by Charlie Fisher, Super Sprint veteran. Allison with a good handle on the Maxim tonight. The car is crew chief by Lonnie John of Lyme, Ohio, and apparently Lonnie has the car set perfectly tonight because Tim Allison has now five, six, seven car lengths over Eric Slade, back to one and two. Let's follow Allison now, back to three and four, the defending champion. Earlier in the evening or in the afternoon, we had an opportunity to speak with Tim Allison pitside. We asked him how important it was to defend his title here at Limeland and how tough that would be. Let's go down and meet Tim. Well, as far as defending the title, that's our number one goal this year. Uh, last year we had a good successful year. We finished in the top, you know, uh, five more than any driver. For all my sponsors and uh, my crew people, I mean, that's a big plus for me to defend my title. Um, because without the sponsors, I wouldn't be here tonight. Uh, and for, actually I should say, 495 on defending how tough, it's going to be a real tough year. We've got a lot of good equipment this year, a lot of good competitors. Everybody has stepped their program up. We've stepped our program up. We've got a little bit better motor. Got a brand new car we're debuting tonight. So, and I'm sure everybody else has got their um, act and uh, their setups a little bit better. So it's going to be a very good competitive year. But I'm hoping we're going to give it 110%. And we're hoping we're going to come out on top. And we want that track champion more than anybody. This period, 20 laps to go as we pick up the action in turn three. It's Allison and Slade. Your two top guns off of turn four. Allison and Slade back to three and four. The OJ of Allison off of turn four, beginning to pull away already from Slade with a five car advantage off of turn two. Tim Allison from Lima, Ohio. With the handle on the Maxim tonight, as he thunders back to three and four. Allison down on the bottom. Drifts high off of turn four at the stripe. I'll tell you, Eric Slade actually beginning to reel back in the leader. Eric Slade beginning to find the handle on that 71 car. Good to see him up front. You know, he hauls all the way from Hillsdale, Michigan. Eric Slade, a former Butler Motor Speedway and I-96 Super Sprint Car Champion and looking super here tonight, running second. Good look at Eric Slade. 
as your leaders will be approaching some lap traffic here shortly. Let's go back up front to Tim Allison in the OJ cars. He continues to set the pace up front with a five, six, seven car advantage over Eric Slade. Good shot of Allison there with lap traffic dead ahead of him off of turn four. As we see the one C, the yellow car, Brian Criff, he'll go one lap down with Allison looking inside of him off of turn two, back to three and four. Crisp goes one lap down. Back in one and two. Allison with a good handle on the car tonight, no doubt. Allison went to uh, Florida over the winter back in February and won the Ocala 360 Nationals at Ocala Speedway down in Ocala, Florida, down in Florida Speed Weeks back in February. There assembled was some of the, or the finest 360 sprint drivers in the nation, and he ran away from them down there at the Ocala Nationals. Now as he works, or tries to work inside the 83 car of Aaron Call to put him one lap back off of turn number four. Back in one and two, Eric Slade beginning to sneak back up there in the 71 car. There he is, Eric Slade works inside of Aaron Call and looking at Allison now off of turn number four. Slade appears to be reeling in our leader just a bit, in fact, separated now by just three car lengths, back to three and four. Allison and Slade now. Yeah, lap traffic is tricky, and now Slade beginning to close the gap even more. Two car lengths back to three and four. Off of turn four, it's still Allison and Slade. Back to one and two with more lap traffic dead ahead. That's Allison trying to work inside the 15 car of Mike Albright. Caution on the speedway. Trouble there in turn number four. That's the nine car, the veteran John Nida. Spinning in turn four as he adjusts the belts there. Caution lights are on. Running fourth now is the eight car of Bobby Clark. Running fifth is Paul Weaver. Jim Eckert running sixth. Green flag is back out. We watch your leaders nose to tail off of turn four. OJ gets a good run off of turn four and carries Slade by four car lengths back to three and four. Five laps to go this time by. At the stripe, five laps to go for Mr. Excitement, Tim Allison, with still Eric Slade and Kevin Atkins in tow. Off of turn number four, four laps to go this time by for the OJ of Tim Allison. Car owned by Dick Jenkins, local business entrepreneur here in Lima, Ohio. That's some nice equipment, a brand new Maxim with a Charlie Fisher Chevy power plant. And they've got her hooked up tonight, no doubt. Eric Slade still running second in the 71 car. The yellow 71 there. You'll see off of turn four and still running well as uh, the 34A of Kevin Atkins still runs third. Bobby Clark and the eight cars worked his way into fourth, but with laps winding down, let's pick up the action off of turn four. The white flag is in the air for the OJ of Tim Allison. We'll follow that car one more time around as he takes it hard off of turn two. Back to three and four. Well, this is a fine and dandy way to start out 1995 at Lima Land Motor Speedway. Checkered flag for Tim Allison. Eric Slade runs second. Kevin Atkins is third. Bobby Clark runs fourth. And Paul Weaver rounding out the top five. And a great run from Kurt Brewer, who ran sixth all the way from the tail end. Jim Eckert running seventh. Well, back in victory lane for Tim Allison. Certainly no surprise, a great run. You started up front, that's a pretty good place to start, but I'll tell you, the chassis was really working well. Well, I tell you what, it was working super. I gotta thank my crew, all my sponsors, Allen Not Honda Kawasaki, Dick Jenkins Motorsports, the Lima Pruitt, the Frontier Village, um, Ron Brenneman Farms, the Rocky Shores Golf Course, uh, Mike Pruitt Lima Ford, and I tell you what, this is the setup that we won with in Florida, and I tell you what, it works here. Obviously, now you, you struggled a bit with the handle in 94 here, but it appears that the handle is back in 95. Yeah, I think we got something. We stumbled onto something. We tried it in Florida when we won that Ocala National, and everything right now is just working great, and we're hoping we can keep on continuing the year and uh, come up and uh, win that championship at the end of the year again. What was the track like tonight? 
Well, uh, I have to give compliments to whoever prepared the track. I thought it was really nice, probably the nicest I've seen it in a while. Um, you know, it was slick in spots, but uh, with this new spec tire, it takes a few things to get things ironed out. But uh, all in all, I think the track was great. And so was the effort from the winning driver tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody coming out. Tim Allison, ladies and gentlemen.